Every uh, two-stroke engine that I've ever seen used on outdoor power equipment uh, requires mixing oil with a gasoline to lubricate the engine. Uh, even the, the four-stroke engine that steel uses on some of their uh, blowers and trimmers requires mixing oil with the gas. Uh, the only exception uh, I've ever seen is with some of the older Japanese two-stroke motorcycles they used an oil injection system, but um, I've never seen a, an oil injection system used on, a, uh, used on outdoor power equipment. Uh, if you look in the owner's manual or uh, operator's manual for the equipment you're using, it will tell you what the correct ratio is of oil to gasoline for your engine. Uh, if, you, if your equipment is fairly new, it will say uh, 50 to 1 or 40 to 1. And if you're using older stuff, it might say uh, 32 to 1. What that ratio means, uh, for example, uh, 50 to 1 means 50 parts of gasoline to one part of oil. And uh, 32 to 1 means 32 parts of gasoline to one part of oil. And uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you uh, how to calculate the correct amount of oil uh, depending on your uh, correct ratio for whatever amount of gasoline uh, you happen to be using. Probably the uh, easiest way to measure out your oil uh, to mix with your gasoline is to buy your oil uh, pre-measured out into these small containers. Uh, if you mix this container here, it's 3.2 ounces of oil with one gallon of gas. It'll give you a ratio of 40 to 1, which is 40 parts gasoline to one part oil. Uh, here's another example. This container is 2.6 ounces of oil. If you mix this container, entire container with one gallon of gas, it'll give you a ratio of 50 to 1. And uh, here's a, another example. It's a little bit bigger. This is from Walmart. Um, it's eight ounces of two-stroke oil. If you mix this with uh, three gallons of gas, it'll give you uh, a ratio of uh, 50 to 1. In uh, this container, you're getting more oil, and what they do here is they give you a measuring cup at the top here, and you squeeze the, the container, and it pushes the oil into this measuring cup. If you measure out 2.6 fluid ounces and uh, you add that to one gallon of gas, it'll give you a ratio of uh, 50 to 1. And if you measure out uh, 3.2 ounces and add that to a gallon of gas, it'll give you a, a ratio of uh, 40 to 1. The problem with using these pre-measured uh, small containers to um, measure out how much oil you need for your gasoline is it kind of forces you to buy your gas uh, in uh, like whole number units, like one, one gallon, two gallon, three gallon. Um, you could probably get away with buying like uh, two and a half gallons and then you would use two of these and half of a, another one. But what if you bought uh, 0.7 gallons? Um, how would you know how much of this oil to add to your gasoline? Or what if you wanted to save money and you buy your oil in bulk? Um, say you buy it in gallon containers. Uh, how much of that oil do you need to add to, uh, you know, like 1.9 gallons of gas? Um, so now I'll show you how to calculate exactly how much oil you need for um, whatever amount of gasoline you have and for whatever um, ratio you're using. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a 50 to 1 gas to oil ratio. That's 50 parts gasoline to one part oil. I'm going to use it. I'm going to do an example in gallons and also in liters. I'm going to pretend I have 2.5 gallons of gasoline. Um, First thing you want to do is you want to convert your gallons to ounces and if you're working in liters you want to convert the liters to milliliters. Um, to convert the gallons to ounces I know that I have one gallon of gasoline has is a, equal to 128 ounces of uh, gasoline. So I would multiply 2.5 times 128 that would give me 320 ounces so I have 320 ounces of gasoline. Then I would divide that by 50 because that's uh, the ratio I'm working on. If I was working on a 32 to 1, I'd divide it by 32. So I divide uh, 30, 320 ounces divided by 50 would give me 6.4 ounces. So 6.4 ounces of two-stroke oil mixed with 2.5 gallons of gasoline will give you a 50, to par 50 parts gasoline to one part oil or a 50 to 1 ratio. Um, you know, it doesn't matter, I, you know, if you're, if you're working with, with uh, you know, 3.7 gallons, you just uh, substitute 3.7 in here. Um, if your ratio is 32 to 1, you just put 32 here and you would divide by 32 in this step instead of 50. Uh, now I'm going to do the liters. Uh, you want to convert your liters to milliliters. Uh, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Uh, since I know that, um, 2.5 times 1,000 milliliters, it means I'm working with uh, 2,500 milliliters of gasoline. Then I take that and divide it by 50. 
2,500 milliliters divided by 50 will give me 50 milliliters. So um, 50 milliliters of two-stroke oil mixed with 2.5 liters of gasoline will give you a 50 parts gasoline to one part oil or a 50 to one ratio. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be working on a 40 to 1 gas to oil ratio, so it would be 40 parts of gasoline to 1 part oil. Um, I'm going to be using 1.9 gallons in this example and 1.9 liters in this example. First thing I want to do when working with gallons is uh, convert it to ounces. Since I know that 1 gallon is equal to 128 ounces, I would multiply 1.9 times 128 would give me 243 ounces. Then I would divide that uh, total amount of gasoline in ounces, which would be 243 by 40, because that's my ratio. Uh, and I would get, it would give me 6.1 ounces. Um, so 6.1 ounces of two-stroke oil mixed with 1.9 gallons of gasoline will give you 40 parts gasoline to one part oil, or a 40 to 1 ratio. Uh, if you're working with liters, uh, if you have 1.9 liters, you want to convert the liters to milliliters. You know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So 1.9 times 1,000 is equal to uh, 1,900 milliliters of gasoline. You want to divide that by 40 because that's your ratio. Uh, 1,900 milliliters divided by 40 is 47.5 milliliters. So 47.5 milliliters of two-stroke oil mixed with 1.9 liters of gasoline will give you 40 parts of gasoline to one part oil or a 40 to 1 ratio. Uh, using this method to uh, calculate how much oil you need to add to your gasoline, uh, it's, it's a little more complicated and um, it's a little messier because you have to measure out the oil, but it, it kind of frees you up. Um, you, you know, you can you can purchase what you want. You don't have to. You're not forced to buy buy your oil in those in those small containers. You're not forced to get exactly one gallon or two gallon. It, just, it doesn't matter what your quantity of gas is, um, as long as you have enough oil. Uh, you can create whatever ratio you need. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you for watching.